BCD switches. This is a BCD switch. Pressing the decrement or increment buttons changes the dial number. The switch has five terminals. This is the internal connection of the BCD switch. This is the common point. This is LSB. And this is MSB. This table illustrates the behavior of the switch. This represents the LSB terminal. This represents the MSB terminal. When the dial number is set to zero, all internal switches are open. If the dial number is set to one, this indicates that the corresponding switch is closed. When the dial number is seven, three internal switches are closed. This is an example of connecting the BCD switch to the microcontroller. The common point is connected to ground. The switch terminals can be connected to any of the microcontroller I.O. I.O. used as inputs are set to logic 1. Let's set the dial number to 7. Three of the internal switches will close, pulling the logic of the respective I.O. pins to 0. Let's use X to represent the logic level at the other I.O. pins. To determine the dial number at the BCD switch, the program shall read the logic level of port D by reading the pin D register. This is the content in pin D register. Perform an AND operation with the content in pin D register. This is the result. The purpose is to clear these unknown bits to zero. This result does not seem to have any relevance to the dial number. Perform an exclusive or operation. This is the result. The purpose is to invert these bits. The result is 7, same as the dial number on the BCD switch. Let's recap. This is pin D content. Perform and operation with 0F. Take this result and perform exclusive or operation with 0F. This is the result. Therefore, this is the expression to find out the dial number set on the BCD switch.